all truth to the Most High and not that counterfeit Yahweh who try and pose as the Most High. Today I'm coming with exposure. I was watching a movie called The Batman. And Batman made a statement hiding in the shadows. You know, that registered with me, that stuck with me. So I began to run the numbers on hiding in the shadows. See what's going on. The first part, the first code that really caught my attention was all cannibals and blood drinkers are going to be erased. You know, this is a thing ignored, which vibe with it. Eating meat. Taking for granted. Instructions. Revelation 18.3 says, For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of our fornication. Hmm. It's religion. The first part of this code is about religion. Everything goes back to religion. Eating meat is a religion, which is a spell. It's not that you're tempted or addicted to things. It's a spell. So we take these things for granted. They are the things that are ignored in our walk. Very few are aware of the instructions placed on the inside of them at birth. Sunday worship, communion Sunday, is the day of blood drinking and cannibalism. You know, fornication means to go after a worship of an idol. You know, this is the fornication ritual. To the performer. Hiding in the shadow. Religion hides in the shadow. Let's see. The, invis the invisible enemy. Light. Number one. Unseen attacks. Technology. Ventriloquist. To lead. Trick. Deceive. Mumble. Hear voices. Riddles. Proverbs. Hidden in the chaos. Sending out an SOS. A signal. Vaccine. The matrix has you. See what this invisible enemy is. The invisible enemy is hiding in the shadows. The first deception is that it's called light. Surf only the creator get exposed or drop about light, how it has a conscience. And light knows when it's being looked at. You know? I don't know if I talked about it, but have you ever been sitting around watching TV or reading a book, doing something with the light on? But at your peripheral vision, you see a shadow moving or walking by. When you look around, you're always just missing it. You see, light has a conscience, but it hides in the shadows. And what is the shadow? This is part of the technology that is used to watch the true man. It consists of unseen attacks, ventriloquism, the throwing of the voice. You know, I don't know if you experience it, but you be sitting around and you just hear somebody or something call your name. See, all of this is hiding in the shadows. Hmm. We are in the matrix. And this stuff has been going on. It's nothing new. Some people hear voices in their heads. You know, ventriloquist, the throwing of the voice. It hides in the shadows. 
It's a sign that is to lead you to destruction. Literally, to be erased. That's the above code mentioned. Mumbling. Speaking in tongues. Riddles. Dog saying. Which is the theme of the book of Proverbs. But actually the entire book. The entire matrix system is about riddles. It's also called coded language. You know for a book, the Q, the Bible to be so important. Why is it so hard for some to read and understand? It took me over 20 years to realize it was coded language. You know, I don't know if I mentioned this, but think about it. This God of the Bible tells you not to add or take away from his word. But most of all your Bibles, you open up, you see this word, revised edition. Revised means to add and take away. And you have countless of people who have did their interpretations of the Bible and placed it on the market to sell it. And you believe this bullshit. You actually govern your life after a book. The Nephilim's all right. Couldn't go. Instead of changing words. <laughs> you know, I know when I was little, I read. That the lion will lay down with the lamb. And now I see wolf. You know. Revise the dish. Add, taken away. It just spell. Doesn't matter which book it is. It's all a spell. Being about a spell, you don't know you're under a spell. But if you did, it wouldn't be a spell. And hidden in this chaos of Yahweh's beast system is a silent killer, which is a signal, which is embedded in certain things like the jab, the vaccine which is hiding in the shadows. Your electronics, Siri, Alexa, small TV, all of this is hiding in the shadows, watching and observing true man are those that's keeping the instructions. See, the shadow is whatever the beast system uses to keep you in covenant with it, especially fear, which is one of its greatest tools. Whether it's your choice of words, action, and thoughts, these are energies and vibrations you are sending out and taking in. See, this thing is about energy. Whether it's stealing your energy, or you keeping your energy, because you are keeping the instructions. And it's causing a stronger vibration and frequency that's coming from you and on you. You see, Edgar made it, he had a good point when he said, why are you sitting around waiting on some return or anything? He's right. And I've been running numbers telling you that it's all a show. Look, the Most High has given us the land. That is the hell. Heaven is the land. Where is that to go? It's not going to stop until the true man realize and recognize that he God. I create my own reality. I'm the God of my life. Now I begin to do my own study and research. And I come out of this beast system and stop doing their rituals and sacrifices. Because the more you do it, the more they stay in power. And it's not going to change until the true man realizes that it's about keeping the instruction. Look, what's going on in this beast system is going to continue to go on until we realize who we are. Turn back to the Most High and keep the instruction. It's going to keep going. It's what the spell is about, keeping you dumbed down, keeping you under the spell that you never know who you are. That way they stay in power. Outside the matrix looking in, staying alive, 
Revelation 18, 4. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her. Come out of her. Matrix. America, Babylon destroyed. Soul, your soul. Captivity. Mark of a beast cast. This part of the code is where the true man should be living his life. Outside the matrix looking in. True man is about staying alive. And the only way that is possible is keeping the destruction. The script even warns the readers to come out of us. Whether this, you know this or not, if you are still in covenant with the beast system and its practices, then you have sold your soul to religion, which hides in the shadow. America, Babylon will be destroyed. But keep in mind that Babylon is a system called the Matrix, Yahweh's beast system. Even the Christian Savior, Jesus, said, he called it the world, that you are not of the world, which is riddle or coded language. So not coming out of the beast system means captivity. You've been talking about this in reprobation and captivity that they owe you. People don't owe you nothing. Nobody owes you nothing. This is their system. This is Yahweh's B system. You shouldn't be a part of it. Nobody owes you nothing. You create your own reality. And it's simple as that. Find out where you're missing the market in the instructions. Repent and begin to keep the instruction that way. But the first thing you got to do is stop being me. <laughs> that captivity, what the Hebrew Israelites were talking about. And I'm like, hey, why are you still calling yourself Israelites? Have you read what the Israelites are and what they do? just a game, that their gang leader, Yahweh, sends to different tribes taking over. They rape, they rob, they steal. That's who the Israelites are. They eat their own feces, drink their own urine. They take votes on, we eat your child today and tomorrow we'll eat yours. This is what you want to be a part of. This is the Hebrew Israelite. This is the Israelites. These are Nephilims. Cannibals. But you're Israelites. It's right there. It's right there in the book, scripted book. But you're under the spell. You don't see it. Some of you are just artificial intelligence. You've been programmed to teach this bullshit. And then another part of the code, U.S. government or fallen angels, angelic still beings of light, please guide us. Fire your worship. What is a sphere? It's a realm, an era, a region, a territory, a natural or created environment to a person or thing. Jude chapter 1 verse 6 And the angels which kept not their first estate but left their own habitation. Invisible beings of the air. Ghost riders in the sky. Revelation 19 17 And he cried with a loud voice saying to all the fowl that fly in the midst of the heaven. Fowl means dark obscurity, to cover with wings. Ephesians 6, 12. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. <laughs> By now, you should know, the government is full of Nephilim and artificial intelligence. People look to the government for guidance. Remember, the government is not on the true man's side. 
are those that are keeping instruction. These angelic sphere beings of light, yes, that word light, become involved in your life through ritual, praying, keeping Sabbath and feast day, religion. These entities have regions, territories, realms that have been assigned to them. Jude chapter 1, verse 6 says, they left their first estate. They left their area, their region, their territory. See, they are the invisible beings of the air, the ghost riders in the sky, the files of the air, which is coded language or riddle. These files are the darkness, obscurity, covered with wings. Simply put, they are hiding in the shadow. It takes technology to see them. There's a lot of activity going on in the heavens. These are the ghost riders in the sky. <laughs> the invisible beings of that. You know, your coded language tell you that Satan is the prince and the power of that. They are the ghost riders in the sky. See, Ephesians chapter 6, verse 12 is coded language or riddle. States our battle is not with each other, meaning the true man are those who keep the instructions. Flesh and blood. You know, the knock on flesh. In scripted book, it tells you the flesh is a bad thing. How? When the most high created flesh is covered out outside of you, which protects your art. Heals itself. Now, how is it a bad thing? Because the Bible keeps you in fear. It tells you that your flesh will send you to a place. It doesn't tell you to send you to hell. That's just, you draw your own conclusion. Because you're under despair. See, the Most High is not about death. The Most High is about vibration. It's about living. You know, it's not for you to die. I believe if you keep the instruction, eat from the land, fruits, nuts, vestments, and seeds, it will prolong your life. And after that, who knows what goes on after that? Who says you die? You don't know that. Everything's been hidden from us. We're learning on the go. We don't know. I know the Most High is not about death. The Most High is not about slaughtering his creation, offering them up as sacrifice. He's not about death. When you make covenant with Yahweh and his beast system, then you have a number on your time. Your time is short. Yeah, you will die because you're in covenant with it. See, our battles against Yahweh and his beast system, its laws and statutes, evil deceiving shapeshifters who hide in the shadows by the bending of light, their technology, their 5G cloaking. You cannot hide in the shadow unless there is light. And then it's lag code, code. Hidden man is making. I told you one time, Mickin gave me a lot of problems, but Mickin is everywhere. Mickin is artificial intelligence. Mickin is the Nephilim. Mickin is it's artificial intelligence. These Nephilim are leading the sheep to slaughter. That's their job. Acts 8, 32. See, the hidden man hides in the shadows, covered by cloaking technology, wolves in sheep clothing. Mickey Neal's artificial intelligence, whose job is to lead the true man, the sheep, those keeping the commandments to slaughter. Your pastors, teachers, government officials, rulers of the world, hide in the shadows, always watching. You know, you have got to come out of the ancient age thinking of the Bible. The Bible's not that old. It's a few hundred years old. It's talking about 
a digital world. You know, religion is just one of those tools used to keep you dumbed down. Nobody really talks about religion anymore. We are in the matrix now. People are starting to understand that they are the God of their life and they create their own reality. You can say you're a God. Most high is not a God. Most high is higher than what that term is. Yahweh said, let us make a man. But I believe he said, let us make a God in our image. This melanated man I'm looking for, this is a, that I'm looking at, this is a God. Let us create that, but in our image. <laughs> Hiding in the shadows. Shape shift. Artificial intelligence. God made God walk. Artificial intelligence. Versus nothing. Versus angel. With the true man who keeps the instructions. Sit back and watch. They destroy each other. But our job is to keep the instructions true. Man. Create our own reality. So we can get this vibration totally on our side. And watch America Babylon be destroyed. All truth to the most high. Not that counterfeit Yahweh who try and pose as the most high. Be blessed, man. Be blessed.